welcome to my closet. One of the things that I love doing is to have quiet, intimate time with God every day, and sometimes several times, multiple times a day to be able to break away because we know that this world is so crazy and we get distracted in so many different things, but being able to remove yourself. Now, this scripture, Matthew 6 and 6, is not just necessarily talking about going to a closet, but that's not the way like I like to use that, that inner room, and I don't always have this inner room with me, and so, but I have the inner room within me, which is something that is a blessing. Okay, we are on day number four, January 4th, 2022, a reading from this book. Here's a scripture of the day, Jeremiah 31 and 34 from the NIV version. No longer will they teach their neighbors or say to one another, know the Lord because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord, for I will forgive their wickedness and I will remember their sins no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read the reading. God of forgiveness, it's so hard for me to think of you as forgetful. Yet you have promised that once I confess my sins and receive your forgiveness, you no longer give thought to my past. In fact, Jeremiah 31, 34 assures me that you don't even remember them. Lord, help me to forget my mistakes and to put them behind me. I know you have. And who am I to hang on to things you've already chosen to forget? Wow, that is really, really powerful. And it not it something about things in the past? And it's like, I feel bad about them, but in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe that, I, you know, that your love and your forgiveness and how you allowed me to continue to excel inside of my life. And that's what God wants us to do. Is that when he was healing people uh, back in the Old Testament, New Testament, he said, especially in the New Testament, he was like, okay, now you go and you be my testimony. You be my testimony. You show them what I've done for you. And that still is the same for us today. And that's the mindset that we want to have. It's like, man, God, I can't believe, you know, you know, you know how good you are to me, even though I was so horrible, even though I was so tainted uh, with sin, but you still gave your son to, to die for me. And so um, today's thought is, you know, divine forgetfulness. And that is something that is offered to us. And uh, many times I did Christian counseling for, oh man, 30, 40 years or something like that. And so, and that's one of the things, uh, major things that I've worked with and I've worked with myself as well and anyone I deal with is that because people have a hard time, you know, with receiving God's forgiveness. And even with that part, you know, saying that God forgets, and it's like, well, no, God really doesn't forget. You know, he knows, but he doesn't hold that against us anymore. And so if God chooses to not hold things against us, you know, then just move forward with him and just show him, I appreciate you, God. I love you, God. I want to share your goodness with other people. Now, oftentimes what happens is we may think about what other people may say or what other people may try to hold against us, and that's going to, that's, that's just going to happen. But let me tell you this, that's their problem. That's not your problem. So don't take their problem and make it your problem. Just don't, just don't do it. And you'll have family members that want to do that. You'll have friends from a long time ago or acquaintances from a long time ago. You know, but you just got to keep it moving because they're missing out on their blessings. As a matter of fact, it will be so helpful to you to pray for them. You see? And that's what God wants us to do. We're going to have enemies and God says, okay, love your enemies. Okay, pray for them who despite feeling you should. And so keep that in mind. You want to keep moving forward inside of God. And remember, His divine forgetfulness. He chooses. And so if He chooses that for us, we need to choose that for ourselves and accept that and move forward. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, thank you so very much for blessing us. And we're thankful that you have left your written word down here and so many examples, how you forgive over and over. And even it came to the point where Jesus Christ came and he died for the sins 
of the world. And that includes all of my sins. It includes all of the listeners' sins. It includes all of who have ever lived and those who are currently currently living and those who will be born. And so we want to embrace that. We want to embrace that, God, that we can have that forgiveness of sin as we follow your plan of salvation, hearing your word, believing, repenting, confessing, and being baptized in the watery grave and be united with Christ in his death so that we rise a new life. And when the trumpet sounds, Father, that we will go home with you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, see you in the next video. Welcome to my closet.